All right, guys. Well, listen, that was a really fun first match, and we are going to now go into the second match. Shake it off, guys. You had to get those uh, initial, you know, those initial jitters out. But I want to say thank you so much to the 250 people that are watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying this kind of content. And we are here in the semifinals. Not a single point has been awarded yet, but we're going to get our first point awarded right now. So this next CAD versus versus somebody in the in the comments reminded me that it's actually not CAD versus CAD. It's CAD versus CAD. And I've been just like abbreviating it out of like East Coast, you know, accent uh, mentality. So this next CAD versus CAD battle featuring Max, our number 11 seed from Denmark running Fusion, going up against Ate, our number nine seed from Macedonia running SolidWorks, begins in three, two, one, go! What is the mass of this part in XXXX grams? The tolerance on this part is plus or minus one gram, and this is a sheet metal part, and yet it's made out of aluminum. Interesting. So 1060 aluminum, 2700 kilograms per cubic meter, five millimeter wall thickness fill. Grab a screen capture if you need to. Hit the print screen button on your computer. And guys, we are gonna get into this CAD versus CAD battle. Here we go. Max on the left running Fusion. We'll see what kind of sheet metal skills he has. Atze mentioned in his intro that he does have some sheet metal metal skills in his back pocket so we're gonna see how well they do with this model and shout out to franken burke mortal signing up for the youtube channel buy me a seltzer water thank you my friend and you get some special icons for that and wow the wheel of fate is cruel giving a sheet metal model to atze who has quite an extensive sheet metal background but max also is a machinist so we're going to see what his sheet metal skills are here in a moment as well. Wow, wow, wow. One of the slightly easier models in today's competition, a tier four model, came up here on the Wheel of Fate for this one. So interesting model here. And I'd no, say, it's always crazy to me because I feel like there's two categories when you start to talk about the modeling abilities of people is you have people that can come up with an original design mm -hmm. and not be a very good modeler. And then you have people that are great modelers that can't come up with an original design. And I think I fall into that first category <laughs> of, you know what, I'll figure out how to model it. But, you know, I can't. Original stuff drives me mad because I put my machinist brain on and then it's just nothing but a bad time. Well, I mean, that's the thing is that if you, you've been a machinist for so long that like you're going to be wired to like almost uh, like limit yourself from using certain things that a, a novice might just be like, yeah, I'll just put that fillet there, whatever. Oh, yeah. You know, like where, you know, like, oh, no, like what's the point of putting it there? We're not going to be able to build it anyway. And so 3D printing has ruined me for machining. Because <laughs> you could just be like, who cares? It'll auto. I can print supports. Well, I got to say, watching Odse navigate through this model is really interesting. I, that was a, kind of an interesting move there with the triangle. He just kind of dropped it wherever and then go, went through. And look at how quickly he was able to add some of those relationships. And uh, he's really getting this geometry in place quickly. But interestingly, Max on the left is sketching that same exact shape, that triangle shape. And he's already got that flange complete. So, wow. These guys are really neck and neck. I thought Odse jumped out really far ahead in the beginning. And now we see... Uh, I'd say and Max are really neck and neck here, and this may come down to just who uh, types in the correct dimensions. And uh, wow, this is really, really close. Definitely moving there for sure. I'm very interested to see how this turns out. I definitely can see Max. I nothing against him, but there is some things in the world of sheet metal that would help him right here. But I do see him going for a little bit more of a traditional approach of creating a body since the flat pattern doesn't matter, of course. Exactly, yeah. With these challenges, if you even if it is a, a quote-unquote sheet metal challenge, you can model it as solids within walls, much like what it looks like Max is doing here. You could really do it either way, whatever you're most comfortable with. I think it's a real testament to the speed that Max possesses that he's able to get this far this quickly, not using you know the sheet metal features that, that maybe would speed things along. 100%. Wow. I'd say really making short work of that thing. And I think we're going to see an answer here in just a moment. We are watching the chat and I'd say comes in with an answer. One, zero, nine, seven grams. And that is correct. And congratulations to I'd say, wow, that was some super fast modeling there and really, really impressive how quickly he was able to get that in there. Wow, wow, wow. 
I say amazing. I do got to say, I think what really helped him there is the fact that he was utilizing the sheet metal tools because on the fusion yes. side of the fence, the flange tool does do wonders if you have the correct settings for K factors and things of that nature. Yes. Yeah, I, I agree for sure. Uh, that was uh, that was just really, really interesting to watch. Really fun to watch there. And uh, congratulations to Atze and well done, my friend. And look at Max. Max ended up getting it done. Did he end up not even four minutes? Wow. And did Max come in with his answer as well? That was. I did not see an answer come in. Not see an answer. Yeah.